Hey, what's up, guys? This is Spencer, and you're watching Getting Real with Spencer Owens on Equality TV. I hope you guys all had a good week. I know I did. Um, lots of emails and messages came in from you guys all over. I'm so happy and so grateful that you guys feel called to share your stories and experiences with me. It's it's so awesome, and I look forward to reading more of them and talking about different topics every single week. So, a majority of the emails this week were pretty much all about the same thing, and that was self-esteem issues. So I figured, what better week to talk about anything than self-esteem? So I pulled out this message from Jenna from Pasadena, California, and this is what she said. She said, Hi Spencer, my name is Jenna, and I first want to say that I am so glad that you are doing this vlog. Thanks Jenna, it really means a lot of having a good time. Well, here's an issue I have been having all this week. Self-esteem. I know this is a really silly example, but just recently I got my hair cut. I had really long hair before, and I decided to go pretty short. I have never had short hair before, but I really love my new hairstyle. When I went back to school, everyone was making fun of me, and some of them were saying I looked like a boy. My hair is not that short, and I know I don't, I don't look like a boy. It just bums me out that these kids have to be so mean. The first day I went home, I just cried. Spencer, how should I handle it? Well, Jenna, what do we know about bullies? Bullies feel bad and insecure about themselves, so they want to try and tear down others who feel secure about themselves to take away their power to make them feel like they feel. No, it's not right. I don't agree with it. It's not cool at all. And I've had a similar experience to that. Um, I had long hair as well. It was down here. And I loved the long hair. I was happy with it. I could just, you know, have it wet, just shake it out and just go and I'd be completely happy. I was comfortable. I was I was everything with it. But then people started calling me, you know, shaggy and I looked like a hooligan and a punk and I didn't look good with it. And it, it kind of shook me up a little bit. So I decided, you know, maybe maybe it is time for a change. I can go get it cut, maybe try something new. So I went and I looked online and I just got one of the, the Justin Bieber hairstyle cuts which is like straight up and it was cut on the side so I got that. And I was happy with it, I was comfortable with it. You know, it was a little weird, it was a little different, I wasn't used to it but you know, I got used to it and I, over the next few days I, I learned to love it. And I was feeling good, I was happy, so I was good. And I went to hang out with my friends and then they started making fun of it. And I was like... Well, what's up with this? This isn't cool. I mean, they were calling me, you know, that I, they said I was gay. They started calling me model boy, pretty boy, you know, all this stuff. And I was, the reason why I got rid of my long hair was to get rid of all that negativity. But now when I try and change it, it it's I still get negative back. See, I don't understand that. I mean, what's the point? I mean, you you feel good about yourself. And then you go change it to make other people happy. That's twisted. That That's not right. We should be able to feel comfortable in who we are and not care what anyone else thinks. When are we going to stop that? When are we going to stop letting society define who we are as human beings and individuals? And the, the thing that that kids strive for now is they want to fit in. And they try and fit in with the society, but society is bringing us down. We're trying to fit into the very thing that's tearing us down to the ground. And that's not right. And over that time, you know, I started, you know, thinking of ways that I could help myself grow from that and be, feel better about myself. So, I sat down, I was just thinking, and... I knew that I had to be myself and not care about what anyone else said. So I did just that. And no, it's not easy. It's not just like, you know, you can wake up one morning and, oh, you automatically feel good about yourself. It takes time, it takes work, lots of work, and it takes earning yourself's trust and knowing yourself worth. You have to know deep inside that you're worthy of yourself and worthy of this world and not let them decide whether or not you're worthy. Every morning I would get up, and I still do this now, I still deal with this issue now. I get up, I go into the bathroom, and I look at myself right in the eye, and I say, you are perfect exactly the way you are. And it works. It, it's definitely worked. I'm still dealing with it, but 
I'm definitely growing and feeling better about it. And, and this just doesn't have to do with hair. I mean, you can be, you know, self-conscious about anything. You can be self-conscious about weight, height, the clothes that you wear, you know, anything. And that will still help. I mean, I even got made fun of for the clothes that I wore. I mean, I had this really cool pair of purple skinny jeans. Okay, now, where would you ever find purple skinny jeans? I couldn't find them anywhere. I loved them. I would wear them out. I would... I loved them. I felt comfortable in them. I wore them with, like, this black pair of Vans, and I just... I felt so good and so comfortable. Then guess what happened? I started getting... I start... Well, I got called names. I was being called gay, and I was being called, you know, pretty boy all over again. All while I had that haircut, if I will say. But still, they're trying to define who I am. And I just didn't let that get to me. I still, till this day, wear those purple skinny jeans. But, so, you know, it's, it's just all, it's all the same. Bullies are the same, problems are the same, we all have the same self-esteem issues in some way. And I think it's up to us to change that. If we can all stand together as human beings and souls representing who we are and not what we want to be, I do feel that this world could be a better place. I think if we all felt good then a lot of problems would change in this world. And Jenna, just keep your head up and believe in yourself. And I'm sure your haircut looks amazing. And as long as you're happy with it, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. I'm Spencer. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. I look forward to hearing all your messages. Have a good week, guys.